Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Time Travel. Now, today, we're going to be going back to somewhere in the early 1990s or early to mid-1990s, and we're going to be taking a look at a video that is kind of like three months in the making. Now, if you uh, remember back around the, uh, the end of June uh, of this year, we took a look at the third Microsoft Entertainment Pack, and I said that I would be making uh, an episode on the fourth one, you know, shortly after, but it never really came to that because, you know, as kind of in any video series that I do on this channel, you know, I kind of get caught up in doing a lot of other things at the same time. Um, so I don't really get to making, you know, that uh, specific video. So it did take me a while, but I finally, uh, you know, found some time today to make this one. Um, and yeah, this is going to be the uh, fourth and hopefully final episode um, in the uh, sort of Microsoft Entertainment Pack mini series. Um, and yeah, th this is uh, still a part of uh, the time travel series. Of course, we're still going to be doing things on time travel, but just uh, I think this is going to be the end of uh, Microsoft Entertainment Pack. There's not really that much um, after this. I think these were uh, the only four packs released. Um, but anyway, uh, so let's just get started kind of like we always do in these videos. Um, we're just going to uh, go into uh, the my computer and we're going to go into uh, the A drive here. And we're going to uh, click on setup.exe and we're going to uh, install on the fourth entertainment pack. Now you'll notice that this um, like whole setup wizard looks a little bit different than before. I think in packs one through three they didn't have uh, this like blue background and it looked a little bit different. So we're just going to install it to C and we're going to do web four so we keep the old packs. And we're going to create it. And th there are two CDs. Because for some reason on the second and the fourth packs there's two CDs. I, I really have no idea why. I think it's because they're like a, a like lower density images. But uh, I'm just going to insert that and we're going to click on OK. It's going to copy the rest and there we go. We have a blank folder. <laughs> oh, it's just slowly loading everything in. So yeah, here we have uh, the fourth, um, all the games in the uh, fourth entertainment pack, and we're just going to kind of start going through them. So the first one is uh, Jez Ball, and this is the one that I kind of uh, heard a lot about when I started looking into uh, the you know topic of the, of the uh, Microsoft Entertainment Pack. Um, so basically, what the goal of this game is is to uh, essentially try to get these. Uh, like two so-called Jez atoms, as they're called in the game, uh, you're supposed to get them in the smallest space possible. And to do that, you have to, uh, you know, kind of use your mouse, and you can uh, essentially just, like, drag up and start making walls. And you have to do it in, like, a very short amount of time so that it, the balls don't hit the wall as it's being made. Because if it does that, then you're going to lose. So... Uh, just kind of show you show you what I mean here and yes you can obviously change like if it's going horizontal or uh, vertical by uh, pressing the right mouse button so you can see what I'm changing it here um, so like say if I want to uh, draw a wall here I would probably want to wait until like the the atoms are up towards the top and then do it so they don't hit the wall in time but see if they do you'll see that the wall doesn't you know get made obviously like it's like it's gonna not like, like, like it's going to make only this part right here. Um, and you'll lose, I think, if, if the balls hit. Yeah, like, see, you, uh, I have one life left. So if one more of those balls hits uh, any of, like, the walls as they're being made, then you'll lose. Um, probably not the best way to, uh, like, explain this, but it's kind of the best I can do. So see, I just lost there. Um, so, yeah, these are all my... Uh, high scores you see i've gone from 14 to 1435 so i've gone to, uh, done pretty well <laughs> but let's just try to see if we can close that off okay perfect that's gonna be very difficult we got one life left i just want to see if i can get this come on perfect so you can see how it can be now that wasn't that <laughs> Oh, wow, that was close. All right, let's do, I'm going to wait till they're over there. I'm going to close off this side. So see now, like, it's, you know, slowly becoming smaller, like the area. And you're supposed to get them to, like, the smallest area possible, which would uh, ideally be, like, just this up here, like, if you made, a, like, a, like a, a small, you know, box up there. But I'm just kind of tr trying to wait till they are... 
kind of see what my uh, strategy is here just to wait till they're oh i lost crap <laughs> i wasn't paying attention um so yeah, that's essentially uh, what Jez Ball is. You know, pretty simple game. Of course, all the concepts. Most of these games are, are like very simple, but they can be kind of uh, hard to master. Um, this one does seem kind of easy though. But you know, of course, you can like easily mess up. Like I, I guess just as fast as you can. You know, do this obviously. So yeah, that's essentially what that game is. Uh, next up is Maxwell's Maniac, and. Let's go back to the wiki page here so I know what I'm talking about. Um, Maxwell's Maniac is, this was a, a, like another um, sort of like original game in this pack. So it's like, it like wasn't released anywhere else before. Um, and it's very similar to uh, the previous game, Jez Ball. It kind of has uh, the same layout as you can see here. It actually has like the same sound effects too. But so from like, you know, just kind of reading this here, you can see that this game was actually based on uh, the concept of uh, Maxwell's Demon, which is essentially um, a thought experiment on the second law of thermodynamics. So essentially, uh, this whole concept has or has to do with um, chambers of unbalanced molecules. And I'm not, I'm not really going to bore you with all that. You can obviously, uh, you know, look up this theory if you want. Um, but that's essentially what the game is based on. So what essentially you're supposed to do is, I think, so let's see. Um, Object of Maxwell's meaning is to separate the red molecules from the blue mo from the blue molecules inside the divided Maxwell chamber using the slider gate. At higher levels, you will use uh, the right mouse button to place lead bricks to help channel the molecules where you want them. Place the bricks carefully as you don't get many. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what the game... I'm trying to figure out like what it means by... It. Oh, I guess it's like that. Uh, okay, so that... that Okay, that makes perfect sense. So you're just like essentially supposed to drag this up and down and have the balls uh, come through like that. So see, these are uh, like the red ones. So now we're uh, we we complete level two. So now we gotta get them out in here. Now you have to be careful not. Yeah, see, I just like kind of let one back in. So we can't do that. I set them all three back in. Crap. Oh, we got less than 100 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna let them... Bad time. Alright, we'll restart. So we restart back at level one. So yeah, that's essentially what this game is. Um... And the, like the whole difficulty depends on uh, where the ball placement is at like a particular time. Because see, if it's like up here, you know, it's not going to come through. And if <laughs> and if you have one like this, where the ball going to go through here and bounce back up, come down. Okay, that one was okay. I got pretty lucky there. Um, now we're oh, now we're at this one again. Oh no, this is no no no, this is the one that I died on. There was a different one. Okay, so we got one through. Almost had two there. Okay, we got two. And, and we got come on, come on, we <laughs> We need to do this and oh okay, that was that was good. Again, I got pretty okay, this one looks pretty simple. And I say that perfect that actually was pretty simple so yeah i could spend probably hours on this game but that, that's a that that's kind of in a nutshell what this is a uh, very interesting concept too um so yeah that's what that is again it's uh based on uh the uh maxwell's demon uh i guess you i, I guess you could say uh, like philosophy which is kind of interesting uh from you know what i'm looking at here so uh it seems kind of seems kind of cool um, and, and that's kind of what that is based on. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, what Maxwell's Maniac is. Next, we're going to move on to uh, Chip's Challenge. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, and Chip's Challenge is, let's see here, is a top-down tile-based puzzle game uh, originally published in 1989 by Eeps, e e P Y X. 
Ipex, I have no clue how to pronounce that. Um, anyway, it was a, an, a launch title for the uh, Atari Lynx, actually. Um, so yeah, 1989. Um, and then it was uh, put in Entertainment Pack number 4, and it says here that it was 1991, so that does confirm that the date of this was 1991. And then uh, later released in the Best of Windows Entertainment Pack. So yeah, um, I don't know if I mentioned already, but there was um, a best of windows entertainment pack that was uh, released like four years after uh, the original four and essentially what it did is just took the like the best games from each of the four packs and brought it into uh one pack so i think it would be kind of a waste of time to uh, cover that one because it, really we've covered all the games in there uh already plus all the other or uh, all the other ones um, and it was also uh, re-released on Steam on May 28th of this year with a sequel called uh, Chips, Chips Challenge 2, which was designed by the uh, original author, um, which is, yeah, that is, that, that is pretty cool. So we're going to launch this here. And this actually does already remind me of something else that we looked at. Um, so we have to kind of move through here, I guess, like this, and we gather things. So let's see, okay, so we got a key, so we can go up here, open that door, we'll get that key. Um, uh, that was the wrong, that was the wrong door to open. Oh, let's see, what does it say? Collect chips to pass the chip socket, use keys to open doors, okay. That was a, oh, that was a, yeah, blue key. So... Yeah, it seems kind of, seems, well, I mean, of course, the first level always seems kind of simple. Oh, and the, uh, okay, I thought these were, like, obstacles. Okay, so those are chips that you need to collect. Okay, so that's why we have to go in all these. Um, so we got to head all here and collect all these chips. We should be able to go through here. Perfect. Yowzer, first try. <laughs> uh, time bonus, 340. Establish a time record. All right. So it gives you uh, the levels password when you first start. So let's see. Hint, push blocks in the water to make dirt. Watch out for monsters. Okay. Ah, uh, that was... Ah, uh, that was bad. See, so can we pull? Nope, we can't. Push blocks into the water to make dirt. Well, we can't push two at a time. Oh, I know what to do. We just do this. There. Oh, we no, we can't. Oh, I thought they were, they were supposed to get across there. To make dirt. Watch out for monsters. So we're supposed to... Oh, pff, I know what to do. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. I know what to do. I just completely screwed up. Oh, I don't want to start a new game. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just kill ourselves. Okay. Um, okay. No, I did it wrong. Crap. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so this one's gonna go up. We're gonna push this over here and then step on it. Okay, now it's a block. And then we push this one and go in like that. There we go. Okay, that's what we need to do. Okay, so we have to watch out for monsters. And I just, wow. Wow, that was great. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is... I think, I think, I think it's because I'm kind of going really fast at this point. So we have to kind of like rush away from these bee looking things. Okay, I just got killed. That's Yeah, nobody likes bees. I need to get rid of them. <laughs> or whatever they are. Okay, you kind of got to run like like press your arrow keys really fast to get through there. Oh, this one looks really complicated. All right. So, hint. Suction boots for force floors, for force floors, fire boots for fire, flippers for water, skates for ice. Okay. So, can we just collect all of them? Well, that's kind of... Okay, so that was, uh, that's what the skates were. I, I, I see how that works. And then the floors, we need, uh... Um, okay. Alright, that's not what I wanted. Did I get the fire ones? Yes, I did. Okay, so we need that, and we need to go... Okay, so now we can just walk on it. Do we have the chips? No, we need this one. Apparently it says Lesson 3. I don't know if this was, like, a, like a, an educational game, but... 
it, it does seem kind of fun, um, you know, from like the f uh, four levels or from the, the three levels I've played. I will do just this one, uh, this one more, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Um, it's, it's already been 23 minutes already on the recording, wow. Um, all right, so the blue button controls the tanks. The green button toggles walls. Sometimes things are hidden under blocks. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see what that is. So we have to kind of time it, like like it's on a timer, I think. Or no, no, it's not. We just, I see how, how how this works. So see, that's how like that opens up this that like wall right there. Okay, so these are these these are tanks. That's what it is. So that moves it down, and then that moves it up, and then this moves it to okay. Oh, hidden under blocks. Oh, I thought I said hidden behind walls. Okay, so that's fire. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do it again. But we did get all all the chips, and then we set them fire. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that is uh, what chips challenge is. Again, kind of a simple game. Uh, we'll go to about here, um, and there's uh, all of the author information, copyright 1992. So let's just uh, get out of this. And our next game is Doctor Blackjack. And this game already sounds kind of familiar. Um, essentially, this is uh, a game, it's kind of, well, it is based off of uh, Blackjack, but it's kind of a, its own card game. So yeah, that's kind of essentially what this is. You know, I could spend probably hours on this, but it's probably the most boring game in this pack, I think, because it's kind of, at least, you know, boring to demo. Uh, these are probably going to be more, uh, you know, exciting. But it's essentially Blackjack, so if you know how to play Blackjack, you'll know how to play this. Um, and yeah, it basically gives you uh, like you know tips and stuff. So like if I you know were to press deal here, and let's say that I want to stay, um, and then uh, let's say deal again. So so see here's uh, an example of uh, a tip that I'm talking about where like it'll say it's a it's a good idea to it's a good idea to hit with and like it kind of tells you what cards that it thinks you should hit with. Um, and it tells you, do you want to stay anyway? And we'll say no, because we kind of want to, let's say, hit instead. Um, so we have an ace now. Now we'll stay. Actually, no, we don't want to stay. We want to hit again. And it's, it's, it's actually playing sounds uh, through my host computer speaker. I, I don't know if you can hear those, but... So yeah, that is uh, what Dr. Blackjack is. Uh, again, probably the most, um, I guess self-explaining game so it's, i'm not really gonna spend that much time on it i really shouldn't spend that much time on any of these games but it just kind of happens that way uh so yeah that was uh, a brief overview of uh, dr blackjack uh next we have tic tac drop um what this is is uh, a form of the game uh connect four if you've ever heard of that i'm sure most of you have um it's like a like an actual board game this is essentially that um, however, it has uh, quadrilateral shaped, triangular shaped, and plus shaped boards, and you can have uh, a customizable win pattern with, you know, like uh, uh, like different rows and columns and things like that. So, essentially, I think, I, I don't know what side, well, let's just say like, you know, we can go up to like 28 rows if we want, <laughs> and there you go, we got 28 rows. We'll just go down to uh, 3, or no, we'll do 4, or 5. Or, or six, whatever. Um, columns, we'll just leave it. Actually, we'll go, yeah, we'll just leave it at eight. Win pattern four, so that means that you get four uh, in a row, or we can change it to like eight if you want. So that's essentially what that is. And we'll do uh, beginner. And you can see that this is kind of uh, like uh, the different, like, you know, shape of the board. We have one shaped, uh, like, a, like a, a square, which is uh, the quadrilateral that the wiki was talking about. We have one uh, shaped, like, a triangle or a pyramid and one shaped like a uh, I guess diamond or a plus so let's just do that and we're going to so it's my turn so I guess I can yeah it's this so I'm just gonna drop that in there it's the computer's turn he's gonna drop it there so I'm probably going to uh, do uh, like a time-lapse because these games these games uh, you know can take a little while Okay, so this actually goes on, like, you can see here that we both uh, ran out of, uh, like, the game pieces, and it just kind of brought, like, a whole new uh, row in there. So it's just going to go on until like, the board's full, or either of us wins.
and the uh, computer one, as you can see, I kind of, <laughs> I always never notice uh, when it's in a diagonal, I have kind of trouble noticing those, but because I was like, you know, too focused on here, it was like, I almost had one like, yeah, right here, I think, yeah, I was trying to get this fourth one, and he just kind of beat me to it, so, uh, yeah, that that's essentially what this game is. We'll do one more game on, uh, let's do uh, the, the plus, or the, I guess, diamond, we'll do that, and we'll make it, um, let's make it a little bit, Let's, let's like make it five columns. So yeah, this one's going to be really... Uh, and we'll do... Yeah, let's just do that. This looks like it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, so it's my turn. And you're, <laughs> he already blocked me there. Yeah, this game looks like it's going to go by pretty fast. It's already trying to... Yeah, this is not going to work at all. He's trying something. <laughs> yeah, no winner. I figured that's that that's what was going to happen. Um, so yeah, that's essentially uh, what Tic Tac Drop is. Again, pretty similar uh, to the, the board game Connect 4. So if you've ever played that, uh, kind of similar idea here. Uh, we'll go to the uh, um, About page. Here's uh, the author information and uh, the copyright date, 1992, Microsoft Corporation. So that is essentially what that is. Let's move on now to Go Figure. This looks like just from the icon that it's going to be a math game. So let's just go to the wiki page. Uh, go Figure with an exclamation mark. Uh, yes, it is uh, a math game. And this was uh, originally released on this entertainment pack. So this is uh, the, I guess, original you know release of it. And the object is to arrange four given numbers and operation symbols, either uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, to get uh, a target number, which I'm guessing is this over here. And uh, points are awarded for uh, correct answers and, and uh, are deducted for getting a wrong answer or taking too much time or using too many hints. So let's just kind of just start a new game. So it's also, th this game also uh, is playing sounds uh, through my PC speaker. So that's, that is cool. So we have to get to uh, 66, so let's do uh, 5 times 6, which is 30, and we're going to take 30, and we're going to multiply it by 2 to get 60, and we're going to plus 6. Oh, only once, oh, okay. So yeah, that's essentially what this game is, I've been, you know, kind of trying to do it, and I haven't really done that well, but... That's essentially what this is. Uh, it's a math game, and you have to kind of, you know, figure out like what steps you would use to get to this number. And you know, it, it might seem easy, but it can be kind of difficult. You know, sometimes, you know, obviously, like if you get a, an easy number like fourteen, it'll be easy. But you know, you, you like the the numbers in here can get pretty high. So that's essentially what that is. Um, again, uh, it's called Go Figure. And now we're gonna, we're gonna be moving on to our last game called Chess. And from what I uh, have heard about this, this eventually uh, evolved into what we now know as Chess Titans in Windows uh, Vista and 7. Um, and then those were obviously taken out uh, in Windows 8 and 10, which I do have a video on that, by the way, if you guys want to see how to get uh, Windows Vista and 7 games back on Windows 8 and 10. Um, but that's kind of off topic. Anyway... Uh, this is kind of a uh, really early, I guess you could say, prototype of that game, but it, you know, it like really isn't because you know, obviously, like a uh, release to the public and everything. But so you know, it's just essentially uh, like a basic chess game. So if you know how to play chess, it's kind of simple to learn, I guess I should say. And is he, is he moving? It's not like oh, black to move. He's not moving. Is he thinking? Oh, this, okay, so that's what the force button is. <laughs> it's taking a long time for this computer to think how to move. Uh, I, I guess we have to hit the force button. I don't know. This is a dumb move, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, it was actually, I thought that the horse was going to I didn't even see the queen. Okay, so now I'm going to move mine right here. Force. Ah, you're gonna move over. Okay. okay. Oh, Pfft. way to leave your queen open. Yeah, this is probably not my best game of chess, but uh, 
essentially that's all it is is just a chess game so if you know how to play chess like uh with um uh the was it uh the dr blackjack game and with math if you know how to play blackjack do math and play chess three games in this pack are perfect for you you see that the computer just moved after what felt like five minutes um so yeah, that is essentially what this is. I'm just gonna uh, chess by David Norris Kuiper in 1992. So yeah, I, I don't know what the options are in here. We can uh, suggest a move. Okay, that just tells you like what I, th I, I, I think the X. So it says N E2 is the space. So the E2 that means uh, so your knight at E2 to go to D4. It's like suggest. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, get like move suggestions, then you can press yes, and it can do it uh, for you. Which I actually I do think uh, that Ch Chess Titans does have. It's just not like a pop up thing, and you have to look on here and be like, okay, where's C4? And I want to move C4 to uh, F4, or like whatever. Um, obviously, like a, a knight can't do that, but um, yeah. So that's kind of what that is. A uh, practice. You can show valid moves. Um, you can you know, set up the board, things like that, and uh, all your options, uh, preferences. You can change the colors around. So that is that. No, that that's actually kind of nice. So the white squares. Let's see. We want the white squares to be uh, black, and the black squares to be blue. Oh, that looks like that looks really uh, really eye straining. I'm gonna change that to gray, and this is probably the most like ugliest board ever. We'll change it. I'm just gonna make this like the most. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of nice. I don't know. It looks kind of like like nice and ugly at the same time. Um, I, I I have no idea, but whatever. So that's that, that that's basically what Chess Titans is, or not not ch Chess. It's just Chess, not Chess Titans. Um, but yeah, that's basically what that is. We don't want to save the game. Um, and I think that is just about gonna wrap it up for uh, Microsoft Entertainment Pack number four. Um, I know this video it just kind of felt kind of boring, but I hope that you guys uh, you know found it uh, somewhat enjoyable. And if you did, be sure to uh, you know leave a like and subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos like this. Um, as I was saying, I'm probably not going to be doing the best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack because essentially all that is is just games that we've you know already taken a look at um, more in depth uh, in these earlier videos. So. Uh, that's going to end off for uh, the Microsoft Entertainment Pack mini series. Um, I am also going to be uh, continuing the Windows ME in, in uh, or the Windows ME in 2015, uh, I guess mini series. That's like uh, another one of those. Uh, it seems like we're doing a, a lot of mini series, but I guess that's okay. Um, so I'm going to probably be uh, continuing that very shortly as well. And um, that's really all that I can say for now. Of course, I'll probably think of something you know great uh, in the future. Um, as well, so just uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if, if you enjoyed this video again, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.